The biggest and best in tech are in Las Vegas this week for the Consumer Electronics Show. It kicks off today. Haley Wooden uh, with Business in Vancouver is joining us now. And Haley, this is basically the mecca of new technology. It absolutely is, and it really makes you feel like the future is here when you have a look at some of these gadgets. The quest for a bigger, better, brighter, sleeker TV is alive and well this year, as it seems to be every year. Samsung has rolled out a 146-inch TV called The Wall because it literally takes up the size of a wall, and it has micro-LED lights within it, so it has a really bright image, sort of like you'd expect to see on the Jumbotron at an arena or at a sports game. We're also seeing LG literally roll out a TV that you can roll up and take with you like you would a newspaper, wow. I guess, if you want to take the TV with you. It would make moving a lot easier, I have to say that, so <laughs> that's, that's a positive. We also, uh, we've talked a lot about voice assistants, home assistants over the past year. Google has rolled out four new smart devices, so you can place them at different places in your home and move from room to room, always with the ability to talk to Google to play music, check the weather, and in theory, at some point, be able to manipulate the settings and appliances within your home without having to physically carry a gadget with you. And the final trend, of course, self-driving cars. That's been a big story over the past year or so. Pizza Hut teaming up with Toyota for self-driving pizza delivery vehicles. We've seen Domino's working on something similar. And NVIDIA teaming up with Uber, VW, some other companies too for self-driving cars. So if and when we get Uber here in BC, could be at the point where we actually see some self-driving car tech on the roads as well. Very, very cool. And if you watch the show Black Mirror, well, it's all happening now. Um, exactly. Oh, great. I understand the Bank of Canada is thinking about a rate hike as well. They are. We'll see the Bank of Canada's first rate decision next week. A lot of economists expecting to see a rate hike, one of several in 2018, largely due to the fact that Canada's economy is very strong. It ended 2017 in a strong position and business sentiment for the year ahead. Other economic indicators also very strong. They just released their latest business outlook survey and overall businesses in Canada expecting higher sales over the next 12 months, expecting to hire more, even though we saw really strong job creation last year and even though unemployment at a 40-year low here in Canada and businesses also expecting to invest more and those levels of enthusiasm for investing reaching near post-recession highs. So they're almost at their highest point since the 2008-2009 financial crisis. So overall, all economic indicators as well as business sentiment pointing to the fact that we are very likely to see the first of perhaps several rate hikes mm. starting next week. All right. Well, we have been warned. Haley, thanks very much. Thank you.